Alright, today we're looking at a Caterpillar excavator. It's a D series, and we're going to look at the monitor panel and check out its functions. We have a little door at the bottom, which we show some buttons that we can press. That one's going to give us into a menu. Click OK, and this one the display setup. Work tool select. This is there to help the operator run the machine and monitor it. We have maintenance info. What this is showing us is how many hours are on the machine and at what point or how many hours that we should be changing fluids and filters on each component. I don't see where it tells us where we have done that though. next function shows machine performance so at this point the engine's not running so we don't show any speed but this apparently shows us the internal inputs or, or what the engine or what the machine's actually reading the last input on here is for the service menu. As you can see the code to get into that menu is FFF2. Press OK. First one we come to is maintenance. Fluid filter info. I suspect that's where we would put the information in when we changed it. Here's work hour info. This appears to be how many hours have been run on each component, which would be a pretty nice thing to have. Password change we don't want to mess with. Diagnostic. This is recording when something's happened or if something's actually happening. So an error is when something's going on now in events where somebody operated the machine out of the parameters these are logged codes. These aren't active but they tell you something happened in the past. Now it's a standard Caterpillar format. The MID and it tells us the system where it happened in. The CID apparently is a code number and the FMI is, is an indicator of, of either how bad the problem is or narrows down what actually happened. The OCC stands for occurrences and first and last is hour meter readings. Again these indicate something actually went wrong with the machine. This is an event. This is where somebody either ran it and overheated it or something happened that was outside of its basic operations that somebody caused. And this machine status, apparently this shows where things are at, what position a switch is in, basically what we've told the machine we want to do. See, there's a lot of information in there. There, it's indicating a coolant level's low, so that's something a person would check out. Log in status. This apparently is showing where our sensors are telling the machine where they're at. Coolant temperature, hydraulic temperature, fuel pressure, pump pressures.
again, all helpful information. This output status appears to be what the computer is telling things to do. Desired engine speed, swing brake, the miscellaneous status. Now that total fuel is an interesting figure indicates how much fuel the engines burned which might be a condition factor to consider. Calibrations, I probably wouldn't go into that unless you had the book with you to tell you what's going on. And when you're done and you need to get out, you just simply hit the home button.